All right, boys, you know the drill. It's about that time I finally start torturing myself again. Because as the title says, I'm going to be having the blocks through gotcha choose my fruit in every C. But as you guys may know, I got that terrible number skull luck. So which means we're probably not going to be getting any good fruits. So without further ado, let's go ahead and teleport over to jungle and see what fruit we get from the blocks through gotcha. There's also a big problem to this. This video is going to take me about six hours to do because I could only roll a fruit once every two hours. So let's see what we get here. Blocks through gotcha, please. And oh, wait a second. We actually got a decent fruit. We got the ghost fruit. And I don't even think I have enough space to store this. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat it because why not? Oh. There is a noob in front of me that might try to kill me. Let's go ahead and look at his level. He's only level 165, bro. What are you doing? Hey, yo, bro, you got to chill. All right. He's not worth any bounty, but he's attacking me. So I'm going to go ahead and teach this guy a lesson. All right, bro. Go ahead and take this, bro. And he got one shot so easily. I don't know why he kept attacking me after he hit me with five abilities and it did nothing to me. I would probably run away if I was in his shoes. But now I don't think I want to bully the low level players. I want to go bully some max level players roaming around the first seat. Using my observation, I noticed a pretty high level player over at Midtown. Let's go give him some clapping. We're going to go ahead and use our V ability. You know, we got to summon our clones and then we got to go ahead and hit bro with a nice combo real quick. Now he's stunned and he's using the portal fruit, but it doesn't matter. He didn't even get a chance to use it. He got instantly deleted and I got 10.9 thousand bounty that fast. Now I wonder, does this guy want his revenge? Nope. He doesn't even have his PVP on. I think he just wanted to go to the second C and I just absolutely destroyed him for no reason. <laughs> Using my observation again, there's somebody stuck in the water over at jungle. Will the ghost fruit work in water? I have no clue if it does any damage in the water, but we're about to find out. We're going to go ahead and use our ultimate ability, make some clones, use our X ability, and oh yeah, he's in trouble. Look at that damage. It is ridiculous. And you know what? I might as well use the sanguine art fighting style to deal some damage and bro is absolutely dead. They copy the sanguine art fighting style with me? That's crazy. Huh? Look at how they're posted up. They got their arms out in the same pose as me and everything. Bro did not stand a chance. Does he have his PvP on? Of course he doesn't. Bro does not want any of this. Let's go ahead and try scanning the map for some more max level players. What the heck is that in the distance? Is there a boat on top of the huh? island? Wait, huh? there's some max level players there. There's like two of them over there. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go clap those guys real quick. But first, I need to get a boat. Little do those guys know they're about to get the clapping of their lives. Oh, never mind. One of them is getting on a boat. I can't let him escape. Let me go ahead and summon my clones real quick. Get him over here. And now he's in some trouble. Oh my gosh, he got instantly deleted. 11.3 thousand bounty. What about this max level player up here? Does he have his PvP on? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and use our... Oh my gosh. Bro is getting absolutely destroyed right now. Another 11.3 thousand bounty from his friend. They got absolutely clapped so bad. I don't think they want to turn on their PvP again. Yeah. Wait, he's asking, am I the real number school? Yes, I am. Wait, what the heck is this guy saying? Caleb, let's jump this guy? Bro, I will gladly take on the 1v1. Huh? And wait a second. Is he dressed up as Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? This is hilarious. His friend wants a screenshot with me, and that guy over there is trying to tell him to kill me. <laughs> While him and his friend are having a conversation, I'm gonna go ahead and find a few other max level players to clap here in the first seat. And wait a second. Somebody just arrived. There's a third max level player here, and bro definitely has his PvP on. Let me just go ahead and do this real quick. Go ahead and destroy him. Oh, he's got the Shark V4 race and everything going on. Oh, he's using Electric Claw. That's rare. You don't typically see Electric Claw users anymore. Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's trying to make a run for it. He's got the cursed dual katanas, but so do I, bro. I got those bad boys also. He is trying to make a run for it, but bro is not gonna survive. Let me go ahead and cast my ultimate again. Teleport on top of him, and uh-oh. We missed, boys. We missed the ability, but does it matter? Not really, because bro's gonna get clapped no matter what. He is teleporting all over the place. He is hard to catch, but don't worry. I'm gonna get him whether he likes it or not. Gonna go ahead and use my ultimate real quick. Go ahead and try to catch him in the sky. We canceled his ability. Let's go ahead and try to stun him, and there we go. He is so close to dying. Bro, just give up already. Oh my gosh, and now he's awakening the V4. Bro, get out of here with that. Finally, after a long PvP session, I absolutely destroyed him and got 11.3 thousand bounty. Bro was running away for so long. But I think that's enough killing people in the first seat. We got a lot of runners here. It's about time we go roll the next fruit and go to the second seat. Now, boys, two hours has passed and now we have to go through some more torture. Let's go ahead and talk to the block fruit gotcha, aka Mr. Ziolas. Ziolas, you love me, right? You're gonna bless me with the best fruit in the game. You're gonna give me something like leopard or dragon or something. Oh, actually, huh? this is not too bad. I can work with flame fruit. Let me go ahead and eat that. It's already pretty good by itself, but once you have it awakened, it becomes something else on a different level. So this works very well in my favor. Let's just go ahead and see if we can handle the second C sweats with this fruit. This guy might have his PvP on, and he absolutely does. This is perfect, but is he even trying to fight me? I can't even tell. Oh my gosh, I instantly destroyed him that fast, but then again, he's not even a high enough level. What about this guy? This is another guy right here. Does he have his PvP on? Oh, he, yes, he's a high level too. He's got the sanguine art fighting style and everything. Oh, he's also a portal fruit user. Let me just go ahead and, you know, shoot some fire blue bullets on him. Go ahead and do that. Then I need to go ahead and hit him with the C ability. Where the heck did he 
he even go? I lost track of him. He was like one shot away from dying and oh, he's right over there. Let me just go ahead and hit him with my flaming vortex. Oh, he almost jumped right into it. Let's just go ahead and hit him with a prominent burst and oh, he's got the ice fruit as well. He's using the sanguine art fighting cell, but it's not gonna do much. All I have to do is just try to grab him midair and he's in trouble. Wait, how is he using two fruits at once? Unless he's using the midnight blade. That's what he's using. I got so confused for a second. It is throwing me off right now, boys. My mind is not thinking well after waiting two hours just to roll a fruit, boys. Let's just go ahead and try beaming him with that. Uh oh, he's using the midnight blade, but I'm gonna go ahead and awaken here. We're gonna go ahead and deal some damage to him right there. We need to get on top of him. We need to go ahead and press the C ability, flaming core him, slam him back down to the floor. And we need to try to hit him with our X ability here. He is so low. I'm gonna try to get him with this sanguine art, and there we go. He's in trouble. How the heck did he survive that? How did he gain more health? This does not make any sense, boys. I am not sure what the heck is going on, but he should have not survived that in a million years. I got him down to half health again. Now he's in some trouble. I just have to hit him with the spiky balls real quick. He is so close to dying, and there we go. We got him. 13,000 bounty. That was such a long fight for running for no reason. Whoa, whoa. I'm using my observation, and this guy is going super fast. Does he have his PvP on? And from the looks of it, he absolutely does have his PvP on. Let's just go ahead and clap, bro, real quick. 8.5 thousand free bounty. That was so juicy. Huh? What about this over here? There's another max level player bullying a level 1600? Nah, bro. You gotta let him go. You can't be doing this to my bro. Go ahead and hit him with our flaming balls, and he just keeps running away. Oh, he's got the venom fruit. He's using venom. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Oh, he kind of hurts. I'm not gonna lie, but I will go ahead and destroy, bro, even if it takes everything in my power to do so. Oh, he is one shot away from dying. I just have to land one more ability on him. Where the heck did he go? Why are we running? Okay, he is so close to dying. I just gotta hit him with my blue fireballs. Oh no, the floor blocked it. How the heck did that happen? He is running like a champion right now, a professional runner, but does it matter? Not really, because we got him for 11.3 thousand bounty. There's a pretty high level player over there. Let me go see what's up with bro. What fruit is he using? Oh, it looks like he's using leopard fruit. Does he have his PvP on? And he absolutely does. Let's go ahead and try clapping, bro. Unless he's gonna be a runner like every other person we tried fighting in this seat. Bro, how are you gonna be using the leopard fruit and running? This doesn't make any sense, bro. Just accept the fight and just die by my hands. Okay, bro is making an absolute run for it. Alright, boys, you know what? I think I'm just gonna clap him off camera and then we're gonna be going to the third seat. I am so tired of this running behavior. I give up. If I had another fruit to chase him down and hunt him down, I'd just instantly destroy him, but I don't even care anymore. Bro is a professional runner. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the third seat two hours from now. Finally, boys, another two hours has passed. It's officially been six hours, which means we could roll our last fruit of the video. So Mr. Bloxroot Gotcha, please make it spontaneous and amazing. Oh, oh we actually got the first fruit I mastered up. It's actually the light fruit, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use and abuse this. I feel like I don't use the light fruit enough in videos. And what is this? A fan showed up. He said, number, I'm a fan. Yo, W. We're gonna go ahead and give our fan a screeny real quick, and then we're gonna go out and abuse the light fruit V2, which I have awakened, of course. What about that guy over there? Let's go clap him. He's over there farming some NPCs. We're gonna go ahead and sneak up on him, use our crystal katanas, and then try clapping him extremely fast here. Oh my gosh, this damage is insane with this light fruit. We absolutely destroyed him and dealt 20,000 damage extremely fast. Now there's a Buddha user over here I went ahead and chased down real quick. Let's go ahead and try clapping bro over here. Go ahead and use our V ability, our C ability, hit him with a nice combo, and oh my gosh, bro does not stand a chance. My sanguine art sniped him and followed him for 11.2 thousand bounty. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good this light fruit was. The damage is insane, and I don't remember it being this strong. I'm not gonna lie. And he's saying something. I don't know if he recognizes me, or he's about to talk so much smack right now. Oh, he's actually super nice. He said, I've never seen a light combo. Wow. He said, honestly, I'm impressed. Yo, this guy's a W. I can't even type, because Roblox is hiding my messages. They're putting hashtags. But now I gotta go find some more players to fight. This person's got the dough fruit equipped. What about other people? Oh, there's a whole fight going on over there. Let's go ahead and see what they're up to. This person's comboing an NPC. I might be scared of this person. They might look like they kind of hurt and know what they're doing. From the looks of it, they absolutely know what they're doing. They're using the ghost fruit too. Okay, I gotta go ahead and try to combo them. This is gonna be scary. They're using the human race also. Oh man, they're gonna try to dish out as much damage as possible. This is gonna be so sketchy right now, boys. Let's go ahead and use the hand of the emperor on them. And oh, they're trying to combo me back, but that's not gonna work so well for them. Let's go ahead and try getting them. Over here, using that ability, go ahead and use a sanguine art. Go ahead and try finishing them off, but they got saved because they're using the ghost fruit. They're gonna try to fly away, but luckily for me, I could go ahead and fly up to him. Let's go ahead and use our C ability here real quick, use our V ability, and he is in so much trouble. We're gonna go ahead and try our best to snipe him right now. Oh, he's smacking me away. Bro, come here real quick. I just gotta combo you real quick, and oh my gosh. He went ahead and awakened, so I'm gonna go ahead and awaken myself too. A ghoul V4 user? I haven't seen a ghoul. I thought they were using human. They're very fast for a ghoul user, I'm not gonna lie. Ghoul users aren't 
typically this fast, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and try to combo them with every potential we possibly can. A Buddha user decided to join the fight, so now it's a 2v1. This is a little scary. I gotta go ahead and try clapping them, but this Buddha user is causing me so much problems right now. The hand of the emperor doesn't do much damage, and the ghoul user is back, bro. He keeps running and then joining fights later. Bro, you gotta be kidding me right now. And what the heck is this? A sound user joined the fight? Oh my gosh, I got absolutely destroyed. What the heck? Why am I getting teamed up on? Well, I guess that will conclude it here, to be honest, boys. We had a pretty good run, and that was like the first time I died in a long time. So you know what? I think it's about time we end it here. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub, and don't forget to check out one of these videos on the screen. YouTube says you might enjoy it.